to Clash of Lords 2. There he is in all his manimal splendor. If you haven't already seen my video of how I got him, go ahead and check that out right now. It's worth watching. Just saying. Just watch it. You'll enjoy it. But alas, let's dive right down into it. Bullhead right off the bat, 11,880 HP, and his attack is 645. Let's just compare that to the other champions that are out there at level 1. Right off the bat there, higher than Dr. Shaman, HP higher. What is he? Is he? He's on par with like Wonton as far as HP goes. What about Landslide? What is Landslide's HP? Okay, 15,000. So Landslide's got to beat. He's a pure tank, whatever. So he's kind of mid-range. His attack's kind of high though. Um, that's kind of kind of nice. I'm just looking at over the other attacks out there. Dang, his, his attack's higher than Ambrosia, as it should be. Melee people should have higher attack and higher health, in my opinion. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. So there he is with his HP and attack. He obviously has the Ox Warriors, which I am a fan of, because they last longer, they hit buildings harder. It's going to be great to have Ox Warriors brought back into the game. Pounder was the last one to really have him, and you haven't really seen him since. So it's nice to have a tune out there that has Ox Warriors and you can actually maybe maybe somehow sneak Pounder back in there with... Uh, well, let's just get into the hero skill since you're looking at it right now. Bulldozer deals 5% attack damage every second to all enemies near Bullhead for 10 seconds. So right off the bat, you have an AoE that does damage for 10 seconds based off of the attack of your bulldozer. It also reduces their attack rate by 2% and increases the attack of all your ox warriors by 10%. I really hope this jumps very fast because I would love to see ox warriors just straight destroying schisms. I want them to leave a pile of rubble behind them wherever they go. Also grants bullheads normal attacks a frontal area of effect for 10 seconds. So not only do you have an AoE attack, you also have a frontal cone attack along with the bulldozer. So kind of nice, right? Okay, so you're just doing damage all over the place. And that's on top of your melee swings. Could be pretty sweet. If you add some attack speed to this, I could see that being a nice little combo. So I don't have hero talents yet, so this is all pure here. And it's aid skill. When deployed hero hits an enemy, 10% chance to increase all damage taken by that target by 2% for 8 seconds. Stacks up to 5 times. Holy crap! That's insane! So, I hope the aids... Look, that's just sick! That's going to be great for... Oh man, I can... Oh, now I don't even know if I want to put Bullhead out there in the open. I just want 5 more of these guys so I can put them on my other tunes. I mean, a 10% chance to increase damage taken by 2... I'm... I assume this goes up to 20% damage increase. I mean, that's just sweet. Aid skill is sweet. Damage multiplier is always good. So here's his enchant hero tree. Just got attack and HP at the top, followed by increase HP down here. Reduces hero skill damage received there, and damage reduction overall there, just so you can see those as well. Down here, at the level 3, you have increased attack rate, which is nice, and it and increased crit rate. Now, let's move on to the evolution tree, because that's what you all really, really want to know. So here's the evolution tree. So obviously you have HP boost at the beginning, followed by the attack boost, and now we get to the Gemini. Gemini is his Fortitude Intimidate. Reduces all enemy mercenaries' attack by 20% and attack rate by 20%. 
okay, that's, that's pretty sick to start off with. Just saying. All you have to do is put him out there, and the mercenaries that are attacking your base automatically get a 20% attack and attack rate debuff. Okay, that's sounding a little OP. Moving on. Finesse Blessing is just a damage reduction. And his Leo, the Divine Beatdown. Bullhead heals 100 HP for himself and flings a giant axe at a target in front. The axe deals 150% plus 15,000 attack. Wow. To all enemies standing in the path and has a 6% chance to knock away them, inflicting stun for 8 seconds. If stunned is dispelled, bleeding is inflicted, dealing 30% of enemies' max HP as damage over 10 seconds. Bleeding caused by this skill can't be dispelled, and healing is not allowed during this period. Holy cow! This is like, hey Enchantress, how you doing? I'm going to poop all over you. That's what this is all about right here. Holy cow. Scroll. Moving on. More HP, more attack. All right, here's the Scorpio. Reduces all enemy mercenaries attack and attack rate by 35% and 30%. Wow. Just wow. That is, I can't stress. I mean, just putting him out there immediately says 35% of your damage by your mercenaries, which does most of your damage to your buildings, right? It's just crapped on. Pretty cool for you base defense peeps like myself. I love base defense. Anyway, moving on. Finesse Blessing again. Okay, Divine Beatdown level 2. Bullhead heals 100% for himself and flings a giant axe at target in front. Deals 225% plus 25,000 attack damage to all enemies. Standing in the path and has an 80% chance to knock away them. Inflicting stun for 10 seconds. Okay, that's 2 seconds more. If stun is dispelled, bleeding is inflicted. Dealing 40% of enemies' max HP as damage over 10 seconds. Jeez! That's crazy! So if you have like a landslide, and he's got say 300,000 health, and you dispel that knockback and stun, then like 140,000 of his health will become a bleeding effect. That's insane. Over 10 seconds. Bleeding caused by the still can't be spelled, blah, 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 and no healing is allowed. Holy cow. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. His Aquarius reduces all enemy mercenaries attack by 50% and attack rate by 50%. Wow. Yeah, just drop him out there, and mercenaries hit half as hard. That is awesome. All right, here's his Pisces. Bullhead heals 100% HP for himself and flings a giant axe at a target in front. The axe deals 300% plus 40,000 attack damage to all enemies standing in the path and has a 100% chance to knock them away. Inflicting stun for 12 seconds. Oh my gosh, and then the debuff is 50% of enemies max HP is damage over 10 seconds. Wow. Now, granted, half of this is based off of the dispel. The, the knockback and stun has to be dispelled for the second part to come into play. So whenever, say, uh, you're attacking an opponent's base and you see an Enchantress, usually the Enchantress is going to dispel at some point if they have the Leo ability and all that. So that's a guaranteed. But if someone's attacking you, you know, they probably are hopefully smart enough not to use the dispel. But regardless, pretty sweet. Just pretty sweet. I wonder if this will work on any future guild bosses that have any kind of dispel, or even the guild bosses that, ha that are out right now that have dispel. I wonder if that'll work on them as well. But most of them, you can't, there's no knockback, so there's no stun, so never mind, they're impossible. All right, so let's level this bad boy up. He's a manimal, but he's about to get bigger. I don't know what he's going to do. We're going to find out. It's going to be so exciting. All right. Going straight to 120. What the heck? All right. Going straight to 120. What do we get? 52,000, basically 53,000 HP and 3,180 more attack. Hitting it. There you go. So that's what he looks at at level 120. Let's go ahead and get the hero talents out of the way. Yes, I do. What do I get? Hard body? Mm. 
I want some kind of attack rate. Nah, that ain't going to do it. Or, yeah, of course. Absolutely nothing. So, there you go. I just got crap done. All right, let's pump up his bulldozer. Let's see what kind of increments we get when we pump up the bulldozer. So, right off the bat, I can see a 1% boost to attack damage. Uh, what else we got? Attack rate's going to go up by 2%. Pretty nice. And a 2% boost to Ox Warrior. So, let's hit that a couple times. Looks like the ratios are still the same. No different increases there. No problemo, my friends. Just walking her up. Okay, so we have a 3% boost there instead of a 2% boost on Ox Warriors. Still 3% boost on Ox Warriors. That's nice. That's what you kind of want to see. I mean, imagine your Ox Warriors just going crazy on a base during Guild Clash. That's what I'm talking about. Get them out there and just wreck face. If you can drop a pounder and this guy out there, Bullhead, and just know that your other three tunes can kill off the enemy's five tunes, then you're set for success. Just cranking out the damage. Let's go there. Okay, we still got a 3%. Okay, we have a 2% jump there on the attack damage from 13 to 15. And the attack rate is still 2. This is still 3 now. Okay, that's good. Can we get to level 12 with this? I don't know. I have enough rings. We'll find out. Still 2% jump, 2% jump, 3% jump. 2% jump, 2% jump, 3% jump. And there's level 12. I think I'll probably stop right there. So there it is at level 12, 90% attack damage every second to all enemies near Bullhead for 10 seconds, reducing the attack rate by 24% and increases the attack of all your Ox Warriors by 38%. Wow. So that, you know, pumped up pounder that you had from a year ago with all them Ox Warriors that were just pumped up and you don't use them anymore. Bust them out of the closet, folks, because it's going to be a heyday on bases. What did that do to the aid skill? So at a level 5 of 9, when deployed hero hits an enemy, 15%, I think it was a 10% chance before, so it's now 15, so it goes up 1 every, you know, every time you level it up. I would assume when it gets 9 out of 9, that would probably just be an even 20, but I could be wrong. So 15% chance to increase all damage taken by that target by 7% for 8 seconds. Stacks up to 5 times. That's just sweet. You just throw that on an abyss demon and he just he just wailing away every time he hits. Golly. That is a damage multiplier if I've ever seen it. Oh. And you know if your abyss demon is just going ham, it's, you're going to be able to get that st those stacks up to five times pretty easily. Just saying. All right, so let's go doing a little attack with my bullhead here. Just see what he does, see what he looks like. He is carrying a very massive axe, and those ox warriors are going in the flying V formation, about to wreck house. How do you feel about that? All right, I'm gonna use his. I'm gonna use his attack here. Here it is. Here's his ability. Boom shakalaka. Wow. That AOE damage he's doing is just awesome. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. All right, gonna use it again. How far is that cone attack? Oh, it's not a cone attack. What am I saying? All right, there's the, there it is. Golly, look at the range on that. That's some, that's some nice range there, folks. I'm just saying. I, I, I like that AOE damage, and my ox warriors are all dead, which is whatever. But I like, I like that. That is some nice AOE damage that he does. And it's just based off of attack, which is awesome. So you just pump that up. I have no idea what that will be like once I get this guy pumped up, especially if I get some attack boost on this Joker. I mean, that lasts the majority of the cooldown. So I have four seconds where he's not gonna do anything. But once I punch that button, so it's basically 10 seconds it's running and just 
wrecking things. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I like that. I like that. You put him in the middle of some mercenaries, he's just gonna gobble them up. <laughs> mm, like breakfast. All right, so just for funsies, I made an all melee group here, and we're going against the Land of Doom, which is level 110. So just for funsies, I made a melee group here. We're gonna go against the Land of Doom, Wreck House. This is full on carnage coming at you. Coming at you hot. I'm bringing out Pounder too, boys and girls. I just really want, okay, let's get the heels going. Hopefully Abyss Demon just doesn't steal the show. We'll see though. All right. I really want to just see some Ox Warriors go crazy on some fools. So here we go. Let's let's get it going. Let's get it going. Oh my gosh, the lag is real. Bullhead just does so much damage. He's lagging out everything. All right, got those Ox Warriors rocking. They, I don't even think they were able to touch anything. Yes, Abyss Demon, go over there. Okay. So there's the little buff you can see over the Ox Warriors. I kind of wish they had a speed boost when you did that. But whatever. You got a little ball of lightning over their head. All right. So I'm only going to try to use, hopefully I survive all this, just Bullhead. I want to see what kind of damage he's doing compared to like Abyss Demon who is wrecking face because he's all pumped up and all that good stuff. So this is just pure melee. Have I lost most of my Ox Warriors? No, I've got a few left. Oh, I got a lot left. There they are. Go, you beasts. Go, destroy their base. Yes. Now I'm kind of feeling that Bullhead might have a lot of damage done. Oh, I don't get the check. Oh, that sucks. I wish I, th I thought I was gonna be able to check it out. Anyway, that was it. That was just for funsies. Let's do an arena. Let's do the foe of the day with some bullhead. See what kind of action he can bring to the table in here. Oh my gosh, I probably haven't done this in a couple days, so that might go over pretty easy. So we'll, we'll knock this dude out, maybe move up a couple levels and see what happens. What is that you say? Oh yeah, that's Toxic Shaman's uh, Leo ability. Video coming soon, so check it out. So Arena was kind of a fail because the opponents were too easy. So we're just gonna go in and hopefully crush face here. I got everybody out again, going with the melee only group. That's how we roll. That's how I want to see these people die. Melee only, just sheer power. All right, here we go. Ox Warriors, uh, I wish they would give them a speed boost when you hit that. That's the only complaint I have right now. I wish there was a speed boost, because those Ox Warriors are so stinking slow. All right, Pounder, this is just AOE, AOE damage everywhere. AOE damage in your face everywhere. Love the carnage. Look at those guys roll. Just tearing, tearing pieces up. Love it. More AOE damage. More AOE damage, yes please, and thank you. Have a very nice day. Pounder going off, Pounder going off. We haven't seen Pounder go off in a while, folks. It's nice to see Pounder go off. All right, last one here. Take it out, oh, oh geez. I don't know, the latest update, there's been a little bit more lag than normal. And I have a pretty nice phone. Note five for the win. So you can see here, my level 120 bullhead is almost doing as much damage as my level 160 panda, my wonton. Pretty nice. I mean, I don't even have this guy pumped up yet. Talents are a mess. Don't have a skill pumped up. He's all, he, I don't even have any evolution tree added. I mean, this guy, he's gonna surpass panda in my opinion. I think he will. He needs to, he needs to. Just saying. So one more thing I want to try out. I've got Bullhead as my Abyss Demon's hero aid. So this is going to be the damage multiplier. And we're just going to do a Land of Doom attack. Just going at Land of Doom, seeing if Abyss Demon can take out the entire thing. He's got the damage multiplier on him. Let's just see what happens. I don't know. He, he might be able to pull it off. Sure is a lot of damage coming at him, but he's pretty pumped up. 
I don't know if there's going to be an icon saying, oh, he's just one-shotting everything. I don't know if we're going to get the uh, the look that we were hoping for here. He's just going ham on things. Oh, jeez. This was a bad idea. <laughs> there's nothing big enough for him to wail on for a while. I want to see the bullhead. Okay, okay. New idea. I just have to clear this out. Get going because, um, there we go. I got one star. Okay, yep. Just kill everything. We got to go find some dudes that might be able to withstand a beating for a little bit. Because I want to see Abyss Demon. I want to see if there's an icon for when Abyss Demon starts wailing on a dude and gets that damage amplification going. So it's probably going to be a resource raid is my best bet. Mm, yeah, this will probably be good. I just want to see... I just want to see Abyss Demon to start. Let's go up here. All right, come on, you fools. All right, here we go. Abyss Demon's rocking and rolling. Oh, come on, Abyss Demon. You usually run after every tune that you can get your hands on. Oh, my gosh, his lightning bolt just slaughters buildings. I feel sorry for you, Virgil Nikki. If you're watching this, Virgil, leave a comment below. All right, here's the matchup we've been waiting for. Oh, what annoying. This is a good base layout, though, by the way, guys. I used to run this myself. It's so annoying to watch your guys go in and out of those little uh, those little arms there he puts on his base. Okay, that little whites thing. I wonder if that's the bullhead buff. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's someone else hitting him with something. I don't know. All right. Trying to see if they oh, Make up your mind, Abyss Demon. You got two dudes chasing you. All right, do we get it on Pounder? Mm, I, I don't see any icon. I mean, he's he's hit him plenty of times for, the, for there to be some kind of icon. So I didn't see an icon. Let's just finish this base off. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's just finish the base off, get this done with. So I didn't see an icon. I was hoping to see some kind of icon that says, hey, you got a stack on that guy. Maybe there is. Maybe my luck was just terrible. Oh, yes. Just fire and brimstone. Maybe we'll get it on the building here. Nope. Okay. So there it is. I'm calling it. There's no icon. Just kidding. I don't even know. But maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. So in short, what do I think of Bullhead? Well, he's an enchantress killer, in my opinion. I mean, he just says, go ahead. Try to dispel me. I mean, that's with the Leo ability. That's with the Leo ability. But if once you get his Leo, it's just insane. I mean... Everybody's rolling Enchantress right now, and you just basically pull out this and say, go ahead, I dare you to dispel. Oh, by the way, that was a stupid, stupid idea to dispel because now you're dead. So he's an Enchantress killer. He obviously buffs Ox Warriors, making Pounder maybe viable once again. We'll see. We'll see how that plays out. He can get in the middle of things and just do AoE damage, but he also can reduce the attack rate of your opponents with his Bulldozer skill, and that... That's only 12 of 25. I really hope that attack rate debuff continues to go up to maybe 50%. That'd be sweet. Obviously gives your Ox Warriors a buff. I would. I was hoping to see maybe a speed. After using it, I was hoping to see maybe a buff on the speed of the Ox Warriors as well. That, my friends, would just take it straight over the top. I like his defensive hero evolutions. Those are pretty sweet. I mean, anytime you can get a 50% attack rate and attack debuff on your opponent's mercenaries, that's just insane. That's just straight up insane. You gotta love it. So, he's gonna be great. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, share, comment below. Let me know what you think of Bullhead. Please, let me know what you think in the comments below. How are you gonna use Bullhead? Are you even going to use him? Is he gonna be better as an aid skill rather than just using him flat out? Because his aid skill with someone with some attack speed is, is going to be awesome as a damage amplifier. You just gotta love that kind of stuff. But then again, I like using his hero skill and just having AoE damage anyway. He just walks around and there's just AoE damage everywhere. You gotta like that. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, IGG, for releasing a new tune that is seemingly awesome. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. Peace!